Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, my lesson is on solving inequalities using multiplication or division. Our objective today is that you will solve inequalities using multiplication or division and also be able to determine if it is necessary to reverse the inequality symbol. So the question I would like you thinking about today as we go through the lesson is how is solving an inequality using multiplication or division similar to solving an equation and how is it different? I promise you'll be able to answer this by the end of the video. We have a couple of properties that I'm going to introduce you to. So the first is going to be the multiplication property of inequality when we're using positive values. This states that when you multiply the same positive number to each side of an inequality, the inequality remains the same, creating an equivalent inequality. So again, we're going to be paying attention to what you physically do to both sides of the inequality to solve. And if you're using the same positive number, this remains true. So if we have something that says A is less than B, and we multiply by positive value, so C represents a positive number, then this inequality will be A times C less than B times C. And these are equivalent, and you're allowed to do that to solve for X. Noting that this property also applies to all the inequality symbols, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. Before I show you some examples, the division property of inequality with positive values states that when you divide the same positive number to each side of an inequality, the inequality remains the same, creating an equivalent inequality. So again, we start with our inequality, and we're allowed to do the same thing to both sides. So I'm going to divide by a positive C and a positive C, giving me this is equivalent to what A less than B. Noting, again, it applies to all four inequality symbols. All right, let's put this into action. So we are going to solve and graph our solution. So here's our inequality. 6x is less than negative 12. So I'm going to identify what is happening to x. x is being multiplied by 6. The inverse of multiply by 6 is to divide both sides by 6. Now I'm dividing by a positive value. So that's the property that I just introduced you to. Because the 6 is positive, we know that this remains true. So 6 divided by 6 is 1, leaving me x. Negative 12 divided by positive 6 is negative 2. Bring down your inequality symbol. Now we need to graph. So on my number line, I'm going to place just the value negative 2. We have less than. It's not equal to, so we're going to put an open circle on negative 2 because it cannot be equal, and it's all the values less than. So I'm going to have my arrow going to the left. So here's my solution, and here's my graph. Now let's try one involving the multiplication property of equality. So I identify that my x is being divided by 3. The inverse of divide by 3 is to multiply both sides by 3, noting what I'm doing to both sides is positive in value. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, leaving me x. So x, and bring down my less than or equal to, and 3 times 7 is 21. Now I'm going to flip this so that my x is on the left. You don't have to, but I like to graph this way. And if you flip the order of your variable and your value, then you must also reverse your symbol. So this, these are equivalent. These are the same. x greater than or equal to 21, or 21 less than or equal to x. They mean the same thing. Here's my number line with my value 21 on it. I'm going to have a closed circle on 21 because it can be equal to. So closed circle and it's all the values greater than or equal to 21, so I'm going to shade, put my arrow going to the right. So here's my solution, and here's my graph. Now it's your turn. I would like you to pause the video now, solve, graph, and come back to check your work. Welcome back. So I'm going to identify what's happening to x. x is being multiplied by 9. 
The inverse of multiply by 9 is to divide both sides by 9. Again, noting I'm dividing by a positive value. That becomes very important in a minute. 9 divided by 9 is 1, leaving me x. Greater than and negative 81 divided by 9 is negative 9. So bring down your x, bring down your inequality symbol, and your value negative 9. Now let's graph. I need a number line with just negative 9 on it. I'm going to put an open circle because it's not equal to. There's no line for equal to. So open circle, and it's going to be all the values to the right of negative 9. My solution and my graph. Your turn. Here's another one for you to try. Please pause the video here and come back to check your work. Don't forget to graph your solution. Welcome back. Let's look at x. x is being divided by 4. The inverse of divide by 4 is to multiply both sides by 4, again noting that I'm multiplying both sides by a positive value. 4 divided by 4 is 1, leaving me just x, and my greater than or equal to. 2.3 times 4, let's go do that work over here, 2.3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12, 2, carry the 1. Bring down my decimal point. And 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 plus 1 is 9. So 9.2 is greater than or equal to x. I'm going to flip this, which means I have to reverse the direction of the inequality symbol. And on my number line, I need 9.2. I'm going to have a closed circle because it can be equal to. And then all the values shaded to the left because it's less than. Now we're going to talk about the properties of inequality when we're dealing with negative values. And what this is, is when you multiply the same negative number to each side of an inequality, the inequality symbol must be reversed. So again, this is what you do to solve. If you multiply by the same negative number, you must reverse the inequality symbol. So a less than b multiplied by a negative value to solve means that you have to reverse the symbol. So a times negative c will be greater than b times negative c. And once again, it doesn't matter the values of a and b. It matters what you are multiplying both sides of the inequality by. Again, this applies to all your inequality symbols. This is also true for a property of inequality with negative values. So again, if we're going to divide by the same negative number, we're going to have to reverse the symbol of the inequality. So if we are going to divide both sides by negative c, then we must reverse the symbol. So negative a over c will then be greater than negative b over c. And again, this applies to all the inequality symbols. So your turn, we're going to go ahead and solve this, and you're going to be, I'll give you a hint, you're going to have to reverse the inequality symbol because you're going to need to divide both sides by a negative value. Go ahead and try this, graph it, and come back to hit check your work. All right, let's see how you did. So x is being multiplied by negative 6. The inverse of multiply by negative 6 is to divide both sides by negative 6. That means we're going to have to reverse the symbol because we are dividing both sides by a negative value. So to clear to multiply by negative 6, we're going to divide by negative 6. So this is 1. Anything divided by itself is 1, leaving me x. So I have negative 7. Reverse my inequality symbol to less than or equal to. And here's my x. And now I'm going to reverse this all over again because my x is on the right and I want it on the left to graph. So now I'm going to reverse my inequality symbol again to flip-flop it. Now we go to graph. We put negative 7 on our number line. It's going to be equal to, greater than or equal to, so it's closed circle and shaded to the right. Now I want to pause here for a second. I want you to watch. We're going to, I'm going to show you why this is true. So if I pick the value right here that's in the solution set, right? Negative 6 is in my shaded area because negative 6 would be to the right of negative 7 on this number line. 
If I go plug this in, it needs to be true. Negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36. 42 is greater than or equal to positive 36. All right, noting that negative 6 is greater than or equal to negative 7. Remember, the smaller the number is, seemingly, is bigger. So noting that if I didn't reverse this inequality symbol, it wouldn't be shading the solutions. So when you divide by a negative value or you multiply by a negative value, you must remember to reverse the symbol. All right, your turn. Go ahead and pause the video. Don't forget to graph your solution. Come back when you're done. Okay, welcome back. So we're going to identify x is here being divided by negative 8. The inverse of divide by negative 8 is to multiply both sides by negative 8. And I'm going to circle my inequality symbol to remind me that I have to reverse the direction because I'm multiplying by a negative value. So this is 1. Anything divided by itself is 1, leaving me x. And I'm going to reverse the direction of my symbol. And negative 9 times negative 8 is positive 72. So bring down your x, reverse your symbol, and positive 72. Now we need to graph our symbol, our inequality, sorry. So we're going to put 72 on our number line. We're going to have an open circle because it's not equal to and it's going to be shading all the values to the left. And again, think about that. All the numbers need to be smaller, and we can check this. So if we put something smaller in here, it'll be true. So make sure you check your solutions, and make sure that something in your solution set that's shaded will make this true. So here's one for you, a true or false question. You would need to reverse the inequality symbol to solve this inequality. Is that true or false? Do you need to reverse the inequality symbol to solve when you solve this problem? Pause, think about it, and come back when you're ready to check. Welcome back. So here's your solution to this. To solve this inequality, we would identify that x is being divided by positive 11. To solve, we are going to multiply both sides by positive 11, so this is false. We are multiplying both sides by a positive value. You do not reverse a symbol when you multiply or divide by positive, only when you do it by negative. Here's another true or false. Would you need to reverse the symbol to solve this question? Go ahead and pause, think about it, and come back to check your work. Welcome back. So we're looking at x. x is being multiplied by negative 2 thirds. To solve this, I'm going to multiply both sides of this inequality by the reciprocal. I'm not going to divide by a fraction. I'm going to multiply both sides of the inequality by the reciprocal, which is negative 3 halves. Because I am multiplying both sides of the inequality by a negative value, I do indeed need to reverse the symbol. So that one is true. So remember, today what you've learned to solve an inequality, if you multiply or divide by a negative value, in that same step, you must reverse the direction of the inequality for the inequality to remain true. And there you have it. That's how you solve inequalities using multiplication or division. I hope you'll come back soon where we're going to solve two-step inequalities. Have a great day, and thanks for joining me at The Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time.